Mumia's sugar company, a once thriving sugar miller in East and Central Africa, has become the subject of unending court battles years after the sugar miller collapsed. <laughs> the latest being Friday when top-notch lawyers were in court to fight battles that have consistently delayed the revival of the milling company, placing millions of farmers in jeopardy. Lawyers representing different potential investors have expressed their hope for Mumias, saying this solution will be beneficial to the farmers. It was said very clearly that now a solution had been found to revive Mumias. We do not want Mumias to become a rust belt. And if you're not very careful, what has happened in Ramisi Sugar, what has happened in Miwani, which was under receivership, as we fight these court battles, farmers are suffering, workers are suffering, and uh, we need to get an investor in Mumias, not somebody who is playing games. Mumias was a reputable company that raised Western farmers to the limelight through their ability to feed the company with raw materials. The Mambo ya Mumias Sugar Company ni Mambo ambayo yanaleta dosari kubwa sana katika eneo la iliyokuwa mkoa wa Magharibi kwa sababu hiki kilikuwa kiwanda cha manufaa sana. Lakini kilipoanguka basi wengi waliokuwa wanatumainia kitawaletea ajira umebaki bila ajira. The flow of investors who are willing to invest in the revival of Mumias has brought a lot of optimism but court battles have been delaying the process. Hivyo Ryan nakwambia kwamba hautaingia Mumias Sugar kwa sababu what we want is a competition. Uwezi kuwa Mumias Sugar ni nini West Kenya tena uingie Mumias Sugar hapo tani haitakuwa vizuri. Miwa ndio nguzo yetu. Na tumekuwa maskini, tumeshindwa hata kuvaa viatu, kusomesha watoto ni shida, badala yake ni kuuza mashamba. Once a reputable sugar producer, Western region including Western Kenya and Nyanza province have only become spectators as Ugandan sugar millers slowly overtake Kenya in sugar production. Na Thomas ilipo wakilisha ombi lake ili lipewe nafasi ya kufufua kiwanda hiki ilikuwa matumaini ya watu wengi sana katika sehemu ya Kakamega na Mumias kwamba itapewa hiyo kandarasi ili ifufue kiwanda we cannot have a situation where kenya which was leader in the production of sugar in east africa is being now surpassed by uganda and soon by tanzania it's a shame it's a shame wale wataki wale ambao wanapata faida nyingi wakileta sukari kutoka nje wauze kwa sababu wanaona mumias ikifufuka hiyo biashara yao itaenda chini the revival of mumias and other sugar millers within the western belt will be a great contributor to the economy and the farmers in the western part of the country kind of stefano ebro tv